Oh, how's it going today? So this is the potential case I was going to build my giant power supply in. It has a couple downsides. One is uh, that this is an HP, what, a 211A, it's a square wave generator. It's vacuum tube driven. Everything in my house is vacuum tube driven, even my microwave. Anyway, <laughs> damn it, I couldn't hold a straight face. <laughs> Okay, enough of the jokes. Anyway, um, I bought, this is a, I've got two of these. Yeah, I know. Why well, I, I don't have three is amazing. Uh, I bought one of these at a reasonably local ham fest for 25 to bucks. And got it home. I bought it to play with it. I don't need a square wave generator. I was just curious about it. It looked fun to play with. And uh, amazingly enough, it worked. It works reasonably well. I had a lot of fun tinkering around with it. I spotted this on eBay for like 16 bucks, and the shipping was reasonable. It was like $13. It was from Goodwill Industries in Florida, I believe. So there's a lot of good stuff in Florida. You just got to look around. Anyhow, uh, I got this one, and it works. It's in pretty good shape. But the question is, I really don't need two square wave generators. There's a couple things I could do. Um, I planned on, a, I don't know, his life and its many boggles. Anyway, this case, this little frame sits inside this case. This case is pretty nice. Underneath uh, is a filter kind of a mesh wire filter I think this is one of those wire filters where they used to rinse them and rinse them with like alcohol or gasoline or some solvent who knows what happened in the 50s what happened in the 50s stays in the 50s um, and then treat it with some uh, kind of a, a sticky spray the idea being that the dirt would get drawn up and stick to the thing and then you just clean it out with more gasoline later okay dokey okay. well there's a fan in here so the air comes up from the bottom anyway this chassis sits inside this case it's damn nice my problem is here I would really like to cannibalize this must stop others but do I really want to cannibalize a working piece of equipment there's a special place in hell for folks that do that and this isn't the first time it's ever happened I don't know if I'd have got it and it had been broke I'd have wouldn't feel so bad about it so let's get it out of the case and see what's in there okay so here you can see where the where the screen sits or the filter and you just it even has a bail on it um, some other maybe downsides of this is this is pretty good size this takes up a lot of real estate on my bench. Yeah, not one of my smarter moves. But the power supply I want to build is uh, sort of a moose. So I don't know. Maybe I'll have to build a special cart for it. That's never happened before. Oh, so anyway, the, the tasty innards of the HP square wave generator are just that. Here's the fan. So the the heat, the idea is the airflow is from the bottom and uh, I think there's just a little space around the sides, this mounts on the back and gets sucked up against the case and then this exhausts out the, the back there so this is just kind of a little frame here this is all made out of some pretty nice aluminum and then this this chassis and this sub-assembly set up against the face so what's actually in here well there's a pretty massive power supply there's a pretty decent transformer and then the actual square wave generator part is like here there's a really huge pot I'm not sure how many watt that thing I think it's wire wound I think it's like 5k it would uh, it would really look good in my power supply <clears throat> and then I believe this is the driver board down there We're generating really decent crisp square waves with vacuum tubes is a kind of a good trick <clears throat> so 
So the idea would be that I would remove all these goodies. I just clear this stuff completely out. So the first question would be, is this even a smart move? Eh, I don't know, smart. Uh, trying to think of the last smart thing I did. Like I said, if this was broke, I wouldn't feel so hesitant. The other thing I would have to do, I wouldn't have to do it, but the other thing I could do, or should do, is this face, you know, it looks like the St. Valentine's Day Massacre after you take all this stuff out. There's a lot of holes in there. Now, theoretically, some of them could be reused. You know, the power switch and the light, a binding post. Maybe I could put another set of binding posts over here if I could find another HP set. Uh, some of the knobs. This control is unfortunately right in the middle of the way. Uh, the idea being that I was actually going to make a, a pair of power supplies inside this. And I was thinking about putting some metering up here. Uh, analog or digital, I haven't decided. And then these would be, you know, the controls, you know, the voltage, and maybe some current limiting, or maybe some ranges, range switching there. That was the idea. So anyway, um, to back up a little bit more, uh, I could take that whole face off and make a new face. It's just a piece of aluminum that's cut and then rounded. Or I could kind of skin it, put a piece of thin aluminum over it and trim it and then use this as a frame. Sure seems to say this is all etched too. What a yeah, gosh! <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. This is if I played my cards right, you could reverse this in some stupid form. You know, if I just took things out in an orderly manner and changed my mind later. The other thing I could do is I could try and sell this on eBay. It does work. Um, the chances of selling it are probably a little skinny. And if I got enough money out of it, I wouldn't feel bad about buying another one and cannibalize it. I could wait. I could wait and see if I could find another one to cannibalize. I could wait and see if I find a better chassis. I don't know. I, I, to be really honest, uh, horrible backstory creeping out. Uh, I used to do this kind of crap all the time, and it uh, has come back to bite me a couple times. I would get a hold of sort of limpy or gimpy or what I perceived as unuseful HP stuff, and their chassis used to be very modular, and uh, you could kind of bend them to your will. I've got a couple, three little doodads I've built over the years out of HP stuff. Trying to think if there's anything flying around I regret. Nothing I regret. I think I, any of those things I think I got rid of because I felt guilty. Oh well. Who knew? So there you go. If you want to comment, feel free to comment. Actually, it kind of in, I'm going to kind of encourage it. I would like a suggestion. You know, should I bite the bullet, strip this baby down? Should I sell it off and maybe try and get one or two really broke up ones? That would be the hot deal. I wouldn't feel so bad if I had a broke one of these. Um, should I find another case? Do you know of another case? It doesn't have to be this big. It's about, I don't know, one hand wide by about a hand and a half. And maybe about two hands deep. What is that about? 10 by 18 by about maybe 20. I don't know if that's 24. Maybe that's 18. Maybe this is about 15. It's big. Boy, it really looked good with that fan in there. What I was thinking about doing was putting the heat sinks like back here, stacking them, and maybe putting the control stuff up here or down here. Of course, I would hang on to the transformer and stuff. I wouldn't strip it down. I would just remove the assemblies was the idea. Okay, that's the deal. So tell me what you think. So it's a, yeah, leap on it. And I've actually, like I said, I've got two of these. This is a, just a gray hammer tone one. And then I've got a little bit, 
older model that has the traditional HP brown sort of wrinkle paint. And from what I can detect, the guts are identical on these, it's just the case. The brown one, and it looks a lot like this. This is kind of a wrinkle finish in it. To be really honest, the brown one kind of fits in with my shop. Yeah, my shop's kind of brown and wrinkly. Oh well, let me know what you think. Take it easy. Have a groovy day.